Hello everyone! Welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. So today I got a big Timu package. Like I need another mold. You guys, I don't need another mold. This is why you do not shop in the middle of the night because you just keep putting hit cart in the cart, in the cart, in the cart, and the next thing you know you have a big cat package coming. So I do not have my iPad with me so I cannot tell you how much they were. They're pretty easy to find I'm assuming. If you want to know, then email me for a specific one or whatever, and I'll get you the link because I'm not going to be linking all these below. I will link this one below. I'm going to do this one today at the end. This is a new mold that I made, and I have not poured it with resin yet. This is going to be a surprise, so I'm not going to tell you what it is until I demold it. I don't even know how much it holds, so I'll probably be making extras too. <laughs> so one thing I did get, and this was from Amazon... And Don had, Don's part of my Facebook group. He doesn't really look in there, but it does come up on his feed and he'll see what's going on. And he has been seeing these. So I ordered two. So he doesn't know this yet, but we're going to do a frog off. So these are the frog molds everybody's making. And I used to have one and I can't find it anywhere. So they did come in instead of two. So now we both get to make one. So I'm gonna set those aside close by because I wanna make those soon. And remember that, um, what is it called? That uh, beta fish that I did the other day? You know, I got that one from Amazon. You know what I did? I ended up ordering it from Timu and not even knowing. So now I have two of them. You know what that means? That means me and Don are going head to head on a beta fish. And I think Debbie wants to do this one too. So you might be seeing this a couple more times in the near future. So I did get this from Timu today. And I was on the fish kick that day. So I got a few different fish. I got this one which is like a huge goldfish with a big fan tail. So that's gonna be kinda cool. He's got big, huge eyes. It's definitely a goldfish. I used to have these. We had a pond out front in a other house I used to have, and we put a fountain in there and a bunch of koi fish, but I bought a goldfish and he probably got this big before the birds found him. And then we no longer had him, so that's a sad story. Sorry, but it's the truth. So I got this goldfish to do. And then I thought of Don when I saw this one. So this is a shark. So I don't know who's gonna do it, me or him. So we're both scuba divers and we do a lot of, we did, I haven't scuba dived in a long time, but we used to do shark dives and we used to feed the sharks when we were down there. So I got this in remembrance of our shark dives. So we're gonna do this one eventually. And then I have this huge gold, I think it's a goldfish. It looks like a goldfish. It's got those big, huge eyes and this big fan tail and it's pretty large. So I'm like, that's cool too. So like I was on a fish kick that night. I don't know what happened. And then I saw this, which probably came up automatically because I was looking at fish. <laughs> it's an octopus mold and it's got some pattern on it. I don't really know what the pattern is. It's got like circular pattern going around it. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. So I have an octopus mold that I need to do. And then I started seeing seashells. Now, apparently I ordered one that I already have, and that's this one. So maybe me and Dawn can do a seashell together. This one is a small one. I, I've given this one away multiple times. I didn't realize it was the same one until I received it. So I already have one of those. But then I received this one. Again, kind of small. But I have some plans to do the insides different. That's why I bought them. Not too much for the, I have already have glitter on it. I just opened them. So that's another small seashell mold. And then I got two bigger ones. Look at the size of that one, that's huge. So this can have like little succulent plants in there or I don't know, it's your imagination is the limit. So this one is much larger maybe cast it in the powder the the magic casting powder i don't remember the name of it but you know the powder i was having problems with <laughs> maybe i'll do that maybe i will and i got one more seashell that's this one super cool it's like fluted on the back 
So I was excited to do this one. So that was the last seashell that I got. And then I got this one. This is a large bowl. Look, it covers both of my hands. It's got sides that are like fluted. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it, but I thought it looked really neat. Maybe put a saying on the bottom of it. I don't know. Like, give me some ideas for these guys. Maybe I'll pick your idea and do it on a video. But this can even hold succulents too. I just liked this sides of these. So I did that. It looks, this is really sturdy. They're all really sturdy. I'm always happy with the molds that I get from there. I know a lot of you don't like to order from there. And I understand that. And if I can find links to Timu and Amazon, I always do that for those of you who do not like to order from them. So I try to find them in both places. This one is the book mold. So this is the cover of the book. And this is the book. It's got the pages inside. So I have a few little ideas roaming around my brain for this one. So that's going to be cute, I hope. I don't know. We'll see. And then when I was looking at the book mold, it brought me to this one. And this is an open book. And I'm like, how cute is that? You can like take your favorite saying or something and put it on the pages of the book. So I have to think about how I'm going to do that one. So this is like a tray. Pretty big. I mean... Not like a serving tray, but it's like, you know, look at the size of my hands. That's how big it is. So I thought that would be really cool. Maybe that's upside down. Maybe it goes this way. I don't know. I'll have to look at the pictures, but I think it goes this way. <laughs> I don't know. So that is that. And then I received this one, which is a coaster mold. And I thought these would be kind of cool to use that um, beach sand that they gave me the from Virginia Beach and make some... Uh, beach coasters with this one. I don't have this one. I have one similar to it, but it's triangular. I'm not really crazy about triangle coasters. I thought these would be more useful. So I did get that one. And I have one more, another tray. So obviously I was looking at tray molds, but this one looked really pretty. And I figured maybe doing different colors or I don't know. I'm trying to think out of the box. So you may not see them like one after the other after the other on my channel because I do try to come up with a different plan than I've seen because I don't like to, I don't try not to be like other people. Sometimes you have to use certain things, but I always try to come up with a plan for them that's a little bit different to give you some other ideas. That was the haul for the day. So... I'm going to pour this. Can you guys guess what this could possibly be? Obviously, it's shiny inside. I'm going to figure out what I want to stick in here. Mix up some resin. I've got my, you know, crew over here watching. So maybe this one might be added to that. All right, let me mix up some resin, figure out what I'm going to do with them, and we'll get it poured. I do want to mention that I'm stepping out of my box, and I've received this epoxy resin today. And I'm going to try it. This is from Let's Resin. And the directions say you can work with this stuff for, I think it said, where was it? 40 to 50 minute work time, you guys. Not that I need that much time because I'm so used to going quickly. It's one to one by volume, obviously. But 40 to 50 minutes of working time. Demold time is 8 to 24 hours depending on the size of the project and fully cure in 2 to 3 days. Um, no more than 400 milliliters recommended on a single pour. So I don't know. I have to ask the question, is that mean tall? or Because what if you have 400 milliliters and it's like in a tray? Does that make a difference or more than 400 milliliters in a tray? I don't know. If any of you use this, how deep can I pour this? That's the reason I kind of stick with that pump resin that I like so much because I could pour that an inch deep in all my deep molds and I don't have a problem with it. But I don't know about this one. So if any of you know how deep you can pour this, I would love that information. But I'm going to use this today since this one is, well, it's almost an inch deep, I bet. It's, uh, yeah, I bet it is an inch deep. But it's not that big of a mold, so I don't think it's going to have a reaction. But I guess we're going to find out if it flash cures. Hey, we just did that the other day, right? 
but I don't expect that to happen from Let's Resin. So let me get a cup and I'll start mixing. So it mixed up really nice with my Estoyo mixer, so it didn't create millions of bubbles. But I'm still, go I think what I wanna do as I'm standing here, I'm going to obviously make more bubbles by hand. I'm going to put this flower, if it doesn't change color much, at the bottom. Yeah, it doesn't change much color. I think I'm gonna pour a little bit down at the bottom of clear. Then I'm gonna add some of this dark orchid uh, alcohol ink, a little bit to the resin, put it through my um, vacuum chamber. I'm also gonna add my rainbow shimmer glitter, put it in the vacuum chamber, pour some more, and then I'm going to add more alcohol ink to make it a little darker. I don't know, I'm gonna do this all in one pour, so it's not like I'm waiting between pours. It may all merge together and get ruined, I don't know, but I'm going to try it. So what I'm gonna do first is just get this flower all wet. Hopefully cut down on any bubbles that might happen. Like I said, I've not poured this one with resin yet. This is my first time. It can be a total failure, but at least we will know. So what I wanna do is pour just a little bit at the bottom. I'm hoping it doesn't, I mean, it might float, it might not float, I don't know. I'm just gonna take my tweezers the hole is smaller than that, so I do have to get it through. So even if it did float, it can't go too far. It won't be able to come completely out of there. I'm just going to wipe these off so I don't ruin them. And pour just a tiny little bit more of clear before I tint it. Just to cover the flower, I think. I'm literally making this. Oh, you know what? I forgot my rainbow shimmer, you guys. Why didn't you remind me? It'll it'll go down. It doesn't matter. It'll go in there. I'm just going to stir this up. You know, I probably don't even need to run this through the vacuum chamber because of the glitter but I'm probably going to anyway. I want this as clear as possible. So I'm gonna do one drop at a time and see what happens. I don't wanna overdo it. Like I said, I'm gonna do this in steps. Yeah, there's bubbles in there. That's three drops. I don't think I'm gonna go farther than that. And then what's left, I'll tint the rest of it. Actually, well, yeah, there's bubbles in there. I'm gonna do this the right way. I'm not going to be lazy. Let me put this through the chamber and then we'll add more. Right, you guys I forgot to tell you I talked to my sister-in-law today and she's been watching my videos which I didn't even know so hey Janice <laughs> welcome to glitz and glitter I guess she's been watching for a while so she saw the little elk and she goes I need a pink elk so I said I got a great pink for you this is the one I chose it's called pinky keen and I completely forgot until just now so I need to after I pour this, I hope you guys aren't getting tired of these little guys. I actually did order a new mold because he's starting to get dull. So I don't want to use them after he's not shiny anymore. So this is the resin. I'm going to just pour it in until I get up to there. So I am going to have extra. And I'm just going to put a bunch more alcohol ink to get it a little darker and see if I can get a little gradient effect. I actually don't even mind if there's swirl marks in there, so that might look cool. So let's, I do have this heat mat on. And that's full, so now I got some extra. 
So of course I have extra. I'm just going to pour another couple flowers. Put some alcohol in there first. See what these come out looking like. I'll probably still have more. Gosh, that didn't take very much and I actually didn't check to see how much it took. What do I have left here? So it took an ounce and a half. This surprise one. Are you guys trying to guess what it is? I wonder if you will get it right. What could it be? Yeah, I'm probably gonna have some more left. That went down a little bit. So that alcohol stops it from creating bubbles in the petals. I still have a half ounce left, so let me find another mold. I'm just gonna pour a pendant and some earrings, I guess. I guess I should be filling up my hand mold so I can give that away, but I'm running low on my free gifts, so I do need to keep those stocked up first. And we'll probably put a charm in these. So we'll get two pendants and a set of earrings. And then the rest I will stick in my hand mold, which is still a good amount. All right, so I mixed up two more ounces. That's what he holds of this same new resin, the epoxy resin. I'm just going to pour in a whole bunch of this pinky keen. Just gonna douse it with glitter. Isn't that pretty? You want pink? You're getting pink, Janice. Now I don't put glue in this mold to suspend any glitter because the glue gets really thick and it creates air bubbles underneath his eyes and the eyes pop off every time. So I stopped doing glue. So if you want a lot, just pack your thing full of glitter if it's chunky like this and it won't. I haven't had it sink like I did Jan's blue one. I've done a couple blue ones and they're not sinking. So I am gonna spray them real good with alcohol before I pour it. I do have this heat mat on. Now this is a brand new heat mat. I'm still testing it. It's glass this time, so it's not going to warp on me like the other ones. And this one is really, really big. So I will link it below. I also have another one I just got that's much smaller. So I will link every heat. I have like four heat mats now. One by Let's Resin, one by Estoyo, and then these two from Amazon. So I highly recommend heat mats because they cure your project so much quicker and you don't have to move it into a curing machine. It comes, this one came with a nice big large um, cover for it too. So it'll cover this huge heat mat. Okay, because I put so much glitter in, I have extras. So I will make something with the extras. I usually don't have extra, but I just added like, this is probably equal to a fluid ounce of glitter in here. Okay, I'm just gonna spray everything, find a mold for this, and I'll be back on D-Mold. All right, it's the next day, and there was a couple things I wanted to tell you before I do all this stuff. One, if you guys heard my video back last week or the week before about the allergies on my hands, somebody mentioned, a couple people, many people mentioned that there is a barrier cream. I just want to show it to you. I purchased this barrier cream and I put it on between my gloves and then the UV resin because I'm allergic to the UV resin. So, so far, this is what I put on my hands before I put my gloves on. And so far, I have had no reactions to anything, although I am really, really careful now. Anyway, so that might be an option for you. The other thing with that epoxy resin, this one that I used today, 
I just wanted to show you this cool silicone thing that came with it. So this is gonna be great for mixing that powder because it's nice and wide. I can get a whisk in there. So I just wanted to say that came in the kit. So, all right, I did unmold um, the little stuff, but I'll unmold this with you. And this looks different for a reason. I'll tell you that in a minute. So here are the three roses. I just took uh, these three pens. These are the three that I used. And I just try to color on each one. So gold, silver, and a little red just to highlight the little petals on the edges. So those are those. And then I have two. These are supposed to be pendants. Well, they sold it as a pendant mold, but I, make book, I made bookmarks out of them. They're small. So I just put a tassel on them. And those are finished and done and ready to pack it up. Here is a pair of earrings. I just coated them with UV resin to get them nice and shiny and domed. And I'll probably put this pendant with it. You can kind of see the glitter. Well, I can in person, but you can't there. This I do have to cover with UV resin too, because like I said, my molds for my pendants have been used hundreds of times and there is no shine left to them at all. Here's one, I did shine this one up. This is from the little elk mold. So there was a little left for that. And then I had three more that I put on. I top coated them with UV resin, placed on the charm. Some people asked where I get the charms. I just ordered a whole bunch more from Timu. You can get them on Amazon cheap. Just look up nail charms or sea life charms and you can get like a hundred for five bucks. I'll try to remember to link them below for you. So those are those three. I'm gonna do this other little stuff before I get to that one. So here are two of the flowers. And this one is, oh, the original color. <laughs> yeah, story behind that. So check out that shine on this. So this has the purple alcohol inks in there. And then this one was left over from the little elk. So I wanted to see what a chunky um, glitter does in this mold. I mean, it's shiny. It's not the greatest because it's chunky. And you can see like little bubbles in it. But it's really not that bad. It's definitely not as nice as an alcohol ink. But it looks pretty from afar. <laughs> so those are those two. And then we're going to do the little elk for Janice. Here is the antlers, nice and shiny. Trim that off. So those are the antlers. And let's see how hard it is to get this little guy out of here. I like to put alcohol or soapy water or something in here. I have ordered another mold because this one, I think, has seen the last elk. I have done so many in here. The shininess is gone. So if I have to redo this for you, Janice, I will. As soon as the new mold comes. Because you want a shiny little guy. Of course, it never goes up in his head. Come on. So I'm gonna say you can use this mold about 20 times before you need to replace it. Okay, there he is. He's not that bad. He's nice and pink. These are his antlers. So I will get them glued on and a face put on just like that. Ta-da! There she is. I put some eyelashes on her since she's pink. And I glued these on with E6000. I just put a little tiny dab in there. Oops, I forgot to trim. I'll trim, I'll trim up the bottom. So that is her. Okay, so now for this one. I had to redo it because when I came to check on it, I realized I forgot to do something. And because you don't know what it is, I don't wanna show you the one that I pulled out, but I will show it to you here in a second. So let's pull it out. And oh, when I pulled it out, I didn't like the color, the way it 
grated, I kind of lost the flour. So all I did was put sparkle and the flour in. So let me unmold and see how it worked. Can you tell what it is? It's a little octopus. Let me get his face on. Ta-da! Isn't he adorable? He's the littlest thing. He fits in my hand. He's got a flat surface so he could sit on your desk. What do you think about his little hat? <laughs> That's what it kind of looks like, a little hat on his head. Can you imagine all the possibilities? So this is just sparkly and there's a tiny little bit of purple shim like sheen through him because I I um had like barely a drop of purple in there, just barely. There was a tinge. So let me show you if you do end up buying this mold, what you will have to do because this was the original. See his legs? I didn't push the legs in, so he needs a little help that I'm not sure I can give him. And then, because you can't really see the flower, so I was really upset. So I noticed, because the colors, I checked it when it was curing, and I only saw, like, the purple through a couple, and then I realized, oh my gosh, I didn't push the resin into the legs. So I took one of these uh, micro brushes and very thoroughly pushed up into the legs. You could put alcohol in there too to help you. And then he came out just fine doing that. So that is my newest mold. It's a cute little octopus. So I'll leave him with the rest of the crew. This one, not so much. He can't really be saved. So, all right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today. I hope you saw a mold you like. Maybe you want to go get one of those or something here to do. So I hope I inspired you. I will see you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned for those last pictures. And you guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.